serious question, right? Did they, I don't know the answer to this. I'll ask you first, John. I'm guessing Benny knows. Did they have financial fair play in the NFL? Um, yes, and uh, my understanding is yes, slightly, but but they have the salary cap. Yeah, that's it's the, the big salary thing. caps that is is that's the point. That's kind of what my point is really about FFP over here. Because I honestly don't believe. I honestly don't believe that the way it, FFP is obviously something that is it's there to like the last caller was saying. It keeps clubs afloat. You know, it's making sure that clubs have got sustainability moving forwards. Um, but the problem is, you're young. <sighs> Um, less attractive clubs, we say, because they've got less money, they're not going to attract the, the best footballers because they want to get paid the most. Footballers want to be paid as much as they possibly can. Yeah. Because we don't have a salary cap over here, players like, you talked about Brighton earlier, well, Brighton aren't going to attract the Kylian Mbappes, the people like that. However, somebody like a Kylian Mbappe, they may see um, the project that's going on at Brighton. If there was a salary cap going on, and he knows that he's not going to be getting more than the whatever the top of the salary cap is, a project like Brighton might really interest him. No, it wouldn't. I think something like it wouldn't, John. Would... Killing Mbappe is never going to Brighton. No, of course not, right? In, of course not in this current, the current format right now, because right now, he, you know, the, the footballers could be paid an unlimited, obscene amount of money. No, but I'm, I'm saying but if Real was... Madrid were going to give him 100 grand a week and so were Brighton, he's going to go at Real Madrid still. Yeah, of course, yeah, look, of, of course he is, all right? Of course he is, because Real Madrid, there's the history going on there. But what I'm saying is, if there was a more level cap of paying players, if the if the cap was a was there was a limit on that, I genuinely believe it would give it would give clubs like your Brighton, mm. like you know those clubs that have really, I think chance, give them okay. a better chance of signing yeah. better players. The, the problem you've got and why it would never ever happen because in the NFL it's just one country, so they can all agree on that. <coughs> but with football, it's worldwide, right? And, so, and also, NFL doesn't have relegation. Doesn't have relegation. Right. Right. And also has the also has the draft as well, doesn't it? So you get to pick that the. Not the pick, but obviously... That is such a... Thanks to be cool, by the way, It's so clever the way they do it. No, it's not. It's the most ridiculous idea ever. Do you know why it's not ridiculous? The the best player goes to the worst club. Yeah, but but that's how you keep keep it competitive. Imagine the best team getting the best players out of of college all the time. football. No, but that's not... Over there, it's it's not competitive. Okay, so imagine you've got, right, the best player on the planet, right, coming through, goes to Sheffield United. Yeah, it makes it more competitive. Okay, okay. Imagine imagine that player, though. Doesn't matter. It's over Imagine there. that player, over the, the aspirations as a kid. Professional. But as a kid growing up, that no. player, I think it's. The, I, I, listen, I don't know the, the world of NFL, so I don't know if as a kid growing up, you're a Steelers makes, fan. It makes it more competitive. Them kids make. They dream about making it. It's not about going to the best team. Yeah, but if you're coming through the, the books on Ipswich, yeah, right, and people are going, this, this kid is yeah. unbelievable. And I'm going to Rotherham. Doesn't matter because really they're all on the same level because Rotherham's not going to go down. You're still playing the same division. Like, know, division but, you but, but you don't want to play. You do. It's, it's, it's different mindset over there. And also the salary cap's clever because you get a lot of players now that. Obviously, all players want top dollar if you're one of the best players. But if you've not won a championship, and I think this is happening a little bit in the NBA as well, they're going, do you know what? Just for one year, they're a one year contract, go to one a good team for like less, like a lot less money, yeah. win the championship, then go elsewhere and can, get paid. Can you, sorry to talk about NFL, I don't know anything about it. If you're the first draft for Sheffield United, you're right? number, one, number one pick. Right, number one pick, mm-hmm. and you sign for them, mm-hmm. the following year, can you go to Man United? No, you've got to stay there. For, for you- how long? For left your contract, right. unless, and then, and unless, then, unless, and you, then unless, you, unless you're rubbish, right? And after I think two or three years, um, they can just okay. But after your contract's <coughs> up, how long's your contract for when you're number one draft? I think you minimum three years. I think. All right. After the three years, what happens? Look, you, they can re-sign you. No, but can you get sold? No, but you, you're not going to go to the you're not going to go to the one of the top teams because the top teams have already got a quarterback. If you're a quarterback, for instance, that's the easy, the obvious position. No, but if you're if you're number one quarterback, right? Yeah, but if you're if you're the number one pick, right? For if, you're, instance, no, if you're number one pick, right, right? and you go to Okay, the Jacksonville Jaguars, right? right? And for three years, you're incredible. Right. And then you want to go to the best team. But you you don't want to stay at that club. Yeah, but you, you're going to want to stay at that club because... Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, but you do because their mindset is that we, I could be the difference in trying to win this team a championship. Like, the, the Chiefs... You're not going to go to the Chiefs. But who's the biggest club? Well, Chiefs won it last year. Right. right. Why wouldn't you have aspirations to go to you're that not club? Because they've already got their quarterback. Yeah, but if you're better than their quarterback... But you're not. That's the problem. That's why they're winning Super Bowls because they've got Mahomes. So it doesn't matter how good you are, you're not better than him. That's the same one with that. <laughs> Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.